Hi guys and welcome back to another journal with me. Today I'll be showing you guys how I fill up my Victoria's journals. But first I want to explain how I'll be using this journal since I want to change it up a bit. If you haven't seen my video about my journals for 2019, then you might not know what I'm talking about. So I'll be linking it down below just in case you wanted to check it out. Anyways, I'll now be using my Victoria journals as my main bullet journal. So I'll be transferring my weekly spreads for my digital journal to here and making my digital journal a daily journal instead. I enjoyed making my digital journal more creative just like the ones that I recently been posting so I choose to continue with that. I hope that explains it. Now let's go get on it with this video. Here I'm just filling up my main monthly spread and coloring it in with the pens that I got from National Bookstore. I'll place the list of pens at the left corner for your reference as well. I chose to use this the Artline Tech Pen, the Fine Tech Gel Pen, Point Tree, which retails at 24.75 pesos, and just a, and also a normal colored pens called Titus, which retails for seven pesos. They are they are all affordable and they actually do the job. I haven't actually tried using colored markers with this journal since I'm really afraid that of the ghost thing. So I don't know. Has anyone used have used this journal? So mm, please do let me know of the ghosting of the papers because I really think this the pages in this journal are really thin and it can easily ghost. Uh, so please do help a girl out and let me know down below I'm now filling up the 4th of May, which was when we watched the Avengers Endgame, another movie that broke my heart. It was well made, but I don't appreciate them killing off my favorite characters. That night also became a salubong for Jinky's birthday. If you don't recall who she is, I'll link the first video that I was with her at the description down below. We went to a hidden bar called Tago at Tomas Marato where, the, where they serve affordable drinks and delicious cheese sticks. So I totally recommend you guys check it out as well. I'll try to link their location down below. Plus the night didn't end there. On our way home, he managed to convince our cab driver to sing a happy birthday song with us. And here's a clip of that. Happy birthday! I can't possibly tell you everything that happened day by day, so I really hope that's okay. But please do check out my previous journals with me where I made spreads about the other days. So what else do you guys want to know? I can surely tell you this month didn't just pass me by. Every day was a hustle. At work, at home, every day was a hustle for me. Like with the second week of May, Yasha slept over at our house for a whole week. Actually, I want to share a clip of her riding a carousel for the first time. I thought she was going to be afraid at first, but of course, she just giggled and waved at Mama who was watching her at from the booth.
a few days have passed the built-ins for my room are finally done i also got this fabricated version of an Eames ghost chair at Lazada and now my room is almost done. Here's a little clip of me unboxing it. I look super haggard so don't make fun of me, okay? It's a beautiful chair and as you can see from my video, it didn't do it justice. I got it for 2500 which is a little expensive but for a replica of, an, of a designer chair, I think that's good for me. <laughs> On the 21st of May, I just wanted to add a little story of my struggle. Uh, well, not just mine. I was with Sam, my office mate, who, where we were asked to go to Bay Area for a site measurement for work. And we went from Green Hills to Bay Area, which is at Pasig or around moa area then after that we were supposed to go back to the office but suddenly we were asked to go back to the we were told that we were supposed to go to dasma cavite which is totally a lot of hours away from where we are at already so we took a cab a grab which cost us at least 1,000 pesos and oh my god the in short yung tinagal namin sa gab, sa cab drive na yon was way longer than the time we stayed at the current mall or the site for the remeasurement then we have to ride a bus because we thought it would be cheaper it was cheaper it only cost us 45 pesos but it took us four hours guys four freaking hours i'll never be doing that ever again <laughs> Can you recommend good series to watch at the comments down below? The series that I was watching kept me hanging with open-ended questions like Lucifer. <laughs> the season 4 was not enough for me. Uh, you have to f uh, they need to follow up with that. Riverdale, they keep on killing killing Jughead. I can't understand why. GOT who I can't wait for anymore because the series already ended as well as my k-drama binge suspicious partner which i'm al which i already wa was re-watching for two times now so please do leave a your current binge watch binge watch or series that you're currently watching that you truly recommend down at the comments below i'm currently stuck with Meteor Garden, which is what I'm right watching right now. <laughs> On the 23rd of May, I also attended this wedding at the Gaitai, at the Twin Lakes Hotel to be exact. It was so lovely and the bride was so gorgeous. I just can't stop staring and the view from the hotel was spectacular and I just couldn't keep these clips to myself so I wanted to share it with you guys. Here are a few clips on the wedding and the and a clip of the bride walking down the aisle and them reading their vows to each other. I hope you guys like it and be at the same mood as I am right now. 
I will make a commitment to you today in the presence of our Lord. And before all these witnesses, to love you with an unconditional love. I will be faithful to you always, never leave you nor forsake you. I will lead, guide, and protect you, and provide I will live with you in an understanding way, being thoughtful of your needs. I will honor you as my fellow heir of God's grace. I commit myself to fool God's plan for my life, providing children. I commit to co-labor with you in the building of the church and the advancement of the kingdom of God. Things are just so romantic and I can't really wait for mine soon. I just have to meet Harry Styles in person first. Anyways, if ever you'll pass by Tagaytay in search of a hotel, I do recommend you checking out the Twin Lakes Resort. I'll try to link the their details down below. But that's basically it for this video. Hope you guys like it and I'll catch up with you guys again on my next video which is a june plan with me spread and a little sneak peek for that this is my theme for june thank you guys for watching bye